Welcome back to Starfield. Today, we're gonna get on with the old neighborhood and head on over to Neptune, which should be pretty exciting. Uh, but before we do that, I think it's time enough that we do some upgrades to our ship. I haven't played with a ship customization system at all yet, uh, besides making the ship very blue, which I love. Uh, so I think it's time that we, we do that. Uh, I also have been running out of cargo space, which is a problem hey, I like to hoard. View and modify okay, my ships. No problem. So, like I said, haven't played around with this, so I'm probably going to cut this part because I'm going to be here for like half an hour trying to figure this thing out. Uh, but I also wouldn't mind getting some crafting stations on the ship, if that's possible. I want to start messing around with the weapon and the spaceship customization as well. And currently our ship only has a research station. So, yeah, two main goals. I'm going to try and up upgrade our cargo because, as you can see, we're at, we're at max, 449 out of 450, and uh, get some research stations, or crafting stations, rather. So, wish me luck. I'll be right back. Okay, just a quick check-in. I figured out some of how this actually works, and it looks like to add these two cargo holds right here to either side of the ship, we're going to actually have to elongate the main body of it. And so we're going to replace this Nova Galactic Frontier Habitat with... Uh, this one by one companion way and this two by one workshop and I believe the workshop actually comes with the crafting stations that I want So I'm gonna throw those onto the ship and hopefully it's gonna work All right friends, I have created a monster. Um one thing led to another and now we have this giant thing i don't know so i've been in this menu for like half an hour now uh so basically i added the things that i wanted to add and then realized we needed to upgrade our engines um because they weren't strong enough for all that weight so i bought new versions of both of our white dwarf engines here had to add this extra engine on top and then move the grav drive to the bottom i I wanted to add a science lab as well because I had the space because I realized the slim docker exists instead of the one that we had on top. It's just, I I, I don't know what I did, but um, I'm, I, I think we're going to keep it. You know what? It's <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I won't lie. The only thing is, though, it's going to run us like a third of our credits, um, which sucks. But uh, you know what? I'm pretty happy with it. In the future, if we want to add more cargo, I can get rid of these... Um, portholes that I have here and add more of these cargo holes to the side. There's there's room to add onto it on the top as well. So, oh, the only thing is, though, the jump range has been decreased severely unless I get a new uh, grav drive and it's too heavy. Thankfully, we still have nominal flight systems and we're not going to get the uh, the warning that it's too heavy to maneuver. But uh, let's just let's just go with it. Uh, how do I save these now? Enter. Accept. OK. Oh my god, the frontier is, um, she's looking a little different. <laughs> there goes all my credits. Let's go see how it looks, though. I'm excited to actually... I hope it looks okay on the outside. Okay, it's not too bad. It's a little bulkier than I would have liked. Also, is it weird that I'm covering the back of the grab drive? Okay, yeah, I don't love that. I'm gonna have to play with it. Uh, it's just... <laughs> It's just so messy. I love it. Let's go take a look inside. Oh my gosh. I warm up the engines? Okay, so this is our workshop. Nice. We got all the benches I that I wanted. I get to stand near you, breathing the same I'll always take the compliments. This goes back to... Okay, yeah, there's like a, a companion way, it's called. Hidden back in here. And this has the ladder up to... Our science lab. Yeah, we got a lot more room in here, which is great. And this should have our pharmaceuticals now, I think. Yes, right here. Great. And a porthole. Cool, cool. That's going to be great in space. And let's hop back down. And oh, this is our docker right here. Um, don't love how that. We're going to I'm going to fix it off camera. You know what? For now, it's fine. I've spent too much time in that menu. Um, what about our portholes, though? I really want to see them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, they're right here. Great. Okay, cool. I, I want to go into space and see how that looks, but let's get going. Uh, before we do go, though, I do have some skills to spend. I really want to get to weapon engineering, so I'm going to do one more in research method. And then one in weapon engineering. And I have one skill point left, but 
I'm waiting to finish this oxygen thing. So I did do some work off camera. I'll show you my new weapons in just a second, but um, I realized I uh, rather I heard that this oxygen skill is really annoying to max out because you have to run out of your oxygen from sprinting over and over and over again and it gets worse every rank so I just thought we should get a head start on it uh, so once I do one more time which is what I need for this challenge we'll skill into rank two and keep going from there but okay let's fast travel to Neptune hopefully I can still make it there with my new uh, weight on my ship I think so yes so where are we supposed to go let me actually just missions yeah old neighborhood go to Neptune okay it's just Neptune itself all right let's the jump distance is oh yeah 15 light years is still so fine that's great okay Approach the ship. Well, before we Where do that, that, there's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Well, that's exactly what I'm about to do. <laughs> Taking the sights. That is. I just want to see how it looks from the uh, the portholes. The ship's weapons. Oh no! 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 no. I'm I'm not ready. <laughs> bad timing. Bad timing. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh shoot, no, oh, this is bad. I got the uh, ship targeting skills, so let's try that out. There we go. Yeah, let's see if we can board them by uh, targeting the engines. Lasers are. Oh, I have like no skills into the reactor power, rather. I was not ready for this. Uh, let's target the engines. Okay, engines are down. Let's dock. Okay, great. Maybe we can even take over the ship. I did do that to a pirate ship and then I ended up just selling it because it was pretty bad. So, board? Now, oh yeah, so um, before we get going, I just wanted to mention, I did do some work off camera just to level up a little bit because after what happened in the last quest, I really realized I needed to get more skills, more weapons, and specifically, I got this one Kodama here, Demoralizing Kodama. It is incredible. You're going to see it in action in a few seconds, but I'm really glad that we got that. It should give us the uh, the help we need because we are playing on very hard. So uh, let's just double check that. Yes, okay. And uh, I, I need the, uh, the help. So. Lentils, I love lentils. That is a washroom. Where's the way? Up or down? Ah, that's a door. Look at that, it just shreds them, it's crazy. I'm not usually a fan of automatic weapons, but this one is really good. Oh, oh no, am I out of medkits? I am, oh, not a great start. I forgot to sleep on the ship. You gotta be careful here because I'm low. Perfect, that heal us. Hey boss guy, let's frag him. Let's finish him off with shotgun. Ship key, okay. 
med pack. Nice. Yeah, I really gotta start crafting those because I'm running out of them constantly. All right, is our vanguard here? Hello. It took me a long time to find you. Let me tell you. Oh, am I oh the artifacts. You it's right are. there. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? <laughs> yep. Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too about a strange object you found on patrol. So you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. Mm. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Oh, that's what he's doing with it. Ooh. I'm gonna groan on behalf of scientists everywhere. Hey, sorry. Yep. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are for, right? Here. Happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Okay, so I wonder if it's gonna react to me. Let's see. Beta? Okay. Good work. Nope. Let's all right. So, are you good, buddy? You just gonna stay here? For the rescue. I guess he has his ship back, so... Okay, and uh, I guess we're gonna return to the lodge, so that is probably gonna be the end of this quest. It was a pretty long one. We had to... Gosh, what, we went to Mars, Venus, that space station near Earth, and then, uh... And then Neptune itself. It's good to be back on board. Speaking of... Oop! Gonna have to get used to that. Or we'll just edit the ship again for an hour. I, I seriously spent way too much time on that. I do just want to fly around a little bit. Oh, wait, no, we go, we go downstairs, okay. And uh, take a look out the windows. Yeah, these are really cool. In whatever designs I end up doing in the future, I definitely want to keep these, uh, these windows. Okay, let's actually drive the thing. Now, I didn't actually upgrade any of our weapon systems or defense systems, so that's also something we're going to have to do at some point. God knows we need it. That ship will carry the memory of your visit forever. <laughs> I love his comments so much. He's so fun to have around. Now, where is Neptune? Hello? Big blue gas giant. Shouldn't be too hard to spot, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I imagine we can't land on it, right? Yeah. It is a gas giant, but I just want to see it. That is incredible. It's, again, I, I, I should have known we would get this, but it's so cool to actually see our solar system in, uh, in the game. And I ended up completely surveying Venus, so if we take a look at the map... That's Earth. Oh yeah, Earth looks like a little dust ball over there. Venus. I completely surveyed it. It had one active trait, so uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying the planet surveying. It'll be easier if we can spec into it a bit more with some skills, but uh, anyways, for now, I will head to the lodge and we can finally finish up this quest. Alrighty, good to be back. How you doing, Vasco? Service, Captain. <laughs> we have it. Oh, I wonder Go what's ahead. gonna happen. Do the it fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. But it's waiting for the others. Okay. That's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Ooh, what are we getting? Oh, calibrated spacesuit and helmet, so just better armor. I did find some legendary armor though, so I assume it's not going to be as good. Uh, I, I expected champagne. I would be honored to be part of this. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. 
Fair enough. She does give us astrodynamics, which is cool, uh, and lasers. I don't know if I get to share or partake in those skills. I'm still not really sure how crews work, uh, but yeah. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Oh, Bear? yeah, Barrett. A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Okay, so a couple different quests, a whole lot of credits. That's nice. Bye. Not quite a level up, but that's okay. Now, I believe Barrett can also be a companion. So uh, I'd like to explore that at some point, too. I, I like Sarah, but uh want to spend some time with each companion and see... Uh, hey, permanently reduced fall damage. I found a couple of these magazines. It's, uh, it's fun to see them come back. Very fallout of them. I do miss the bobbleheads, though. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Well, Just I am uh, right here. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. Interrogate away, I mean. I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hint, hint. You can ask. I promise I'll be good. Fix things. It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once. Same boring old planet for like years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? Okay, so she actually knows what she's I doing. I fly my own <laughs> ship and go all over the place. Like you and dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. I was going to say, just based on my experiences in space, I've been Bye. ambushed a couple times. I've been in several dogfights in space. I would not bring my kid. I guess if you're just flying in like the UC space or the Freestar space, which like they have patrols and stuff. Still, though. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. I like his hat. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. We've met? Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Especially after we upgraded Promise. it. <laughs> now, let's start business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Yeah, briefly. Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. You know what? I did. She mentioned Vladimir in the Eye, which is a space uh, station around Jemison. I kind of want to check that one out first, if that's okay. So uh, let's head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. All right. Yes. Yeah, so we're just going to fast travel. The Eye. Whereabouts? Is that uh, on the moon? The eye, right there. Travel. Okay. Is this stealing? No, it's not. I will gladly take that then. Scanning control. You must be Vlad. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Ha, I have the fitness trait. Ha. Ah, gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. 
Just don't challenge him to an arm wrestling competition. <laughs> Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. That's fair. There's a whole lot to look at. Uh, I'm happy to see some of these choices come back based on skills, traits, characters, because it was missing a little bit in the most recent Fallout game. So uh, I like the RPG elements. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. Mm -hmm. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. I mean, that's true, right? Because because of how relativity works, like the things that they're looking at is 10, 20 years in the past. But with the grav drives, I think it is FTL, right? Faster than light travel. So it's kind of weird how that works out, I guess, like just actually physically going there with the grav drives would be better than scanning unless they have some improved scanning technology somehow. I don't really know. You won't be the only constellation Sounds like they don't. out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia, it's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. Fair enough. Another rook in constellation who's making a name for herself likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Okay, so... Find Andrea, go to these two different locations, sure. Jaw the words another time, then. Jaw the words. That is not a saying that I'm familiar with. Okay, so let's take stock of what we gotta do here. Into the unknown is this one here. Back to Vectera. You know what? Let's do this really quick too. I'm gonna go see Barrett. Uh it's in the Narian system? Okay. Oh, do I not have enough, uh, grav drive -ness? <laughs> Right here. Let's see what happens if I try and set course. Unexplored route. So, oh, okay, so I do actually have to jump to this and then jump to that one because of my, uh, modifications that I made. <laughs> Let's see, okay, so we are in the Barnard Star system here. The planet's name is Frost, I believe? That's cool. Let's just scan it really quick. Two traits. Shouldn't be too bad to uh, survey whenever we get around to that. Oh, it's a... Uh, oh, it's just the one planet. Interesting. Are there any points of interest on it? Show me. There we go. No, it doesn't seem like it. Interesting. I really want to get to the outpost stuff, but uh, I think I need a bit more on um, just more resources because it seems like it's a pretty resource intensive affair trying to build an outpost I also want to find a nice spot for it I was thinking just building one on Jemison just to get started uh, near uh, New Atlantis but I'll give it some thought spaceship debris oh is that from my first fight is it still there or oh no I think it's an actual point of interest okay cool Let's go to Argos Extractors. 